looks good ahead, but it looks miserable back there. Get out of there! I'll cover you! This way! It's the only chance we've got against that robot reptile! I can feel it in my microcomputers! Folks! Welcome back to Magnus's Loot Crate. I am your host, as always, Magnus Deacon. Now, folks, this is definitely a one-off from my usual spiel. Just because this is one of those that I only got it for one reason. And you probably saw it in the intro, but I'm going to reinvigorate that. Folks, today we are looking at the Thekma. BS-05B Head Warrior Cool. I don't know that. I was trying to make it sound as stupid as it sounds when I read. <laughs> but folks, this is not one that I would normally get because I've really got no interest in the uh, season three bots or the headmasters. But this one, as you saw in the intro turns into an alligator it's a remold of their their version of a skull cruncher skull crusher whatever his name is the alligator and of course at one point in the original g1 series optimus prime did become an alligator very briefly the folks let's pull this one out of the box stick him on a turntable and dive right into it <laughs> So folks, here we have the VS-05B Commander in his clamshell. Yeah, I know I've been calling him Cole, and that's really not his name. Uh, you know, it happens. Sometimes I get the wrong name just because I'm looking on the box. And that's not actually what it's called. But anyway, here he is packed up. You see he's got the instructions in the back. In the front, you can see all the little knickknacks and pieces he comes with. He's got a sword, a couple of guns... And then a back piece to complete the uh, alligator mode, as it were. I like this. I like the way this bot was packed. It's this decent little bot. Now, folks, let's go ahead and pop him out of that clamshell, stick him on a turntable, and take a look at this bot mode. Well, Optimus, how do you feel? As good as new, almost. Thanks for helping me pull myself together. So, folks, here is VS-05B Commander in his bot mode. Now, folks, I'm going to have to say... I really do like this guy. He looks really decent. This ain't why I got him. You'll see that here when we get to his alt mode. But folks, I do like the way this little guy looks. He looks pretty decent. Now the headmaster gimmick is sort of like a bonus. I do like it. It's a decent little little guy. Now here's the thing. You'll see this in the up close and personal. But he has a second gun that's black. It's exactly the same gun, but this one is the one that used in his transformation so that's part of why i put this one on the turntable with it but folks i definitely like the way this guy looks so i tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and stick his butt on the scale see how much he weighs and then we'll do a little bit more of that up close and personal goodness oh folks Let's go ahead and get a little more up close and personal with our Vecma Cool One figure. First things first, and I don't know if this is standard, mine seemingly came with two set of destructions. This one's more of a showing what the accessories do, I suppose. And this one looks like the destruction manual for the original, the 05 without the B. So, there is that. Secondly, he comes with these two. Now, I'm guessing these are supposed to be, both of these are supposed to be a gun of some sort. One in blue plastic, one in black plastic. I haven't really looked over the instructions yet, but I'm guessing this has got something to do with his transformation. So there is that. It comes with this alligator sword. That 
Uh, th it looks like it would tear crap up, to be honest with you. I'm guessing this is a little piece that goes on his back somewhere to fill in a gap, which I'm not opposed to that. And finally, folks, we have the bottom of the hour himself, the Vecma 05B Uluwag. There he is. That is a decent looking little bot, and of course, he's got the little headmaster gimmick. You can take his head off, turn it into a small robot. Got to admit, that is kind of cool. And it actually is, it's not bad. I mean, it's really small though, because this, I don't know, it just ain't really made for that. He's got ball joints, of course. He's got uh, kind of limited articulation, but he does have an ankle, well, sort of an ankle rocker. It's more like a toe rocker, but it does the job. So it will get a decent, decent score on uh, the posability. I mean, it's, it's a little limited course. He's got bits and pieces and kibble hiding up inside of his legs and things so usually with legends figures I can easily forgive a lack of posability because we are dealing with figures this small of course between magic square and new age lately though a lack of posability is getting really hard to forgive I mean I'm just saying well folks that is it for the up close and personal let's go ahead and stick him back on the turntable. Take a look at that alligator mode. Arr. Everything seems to work. Go for it. Come on, Bumblebee. Let's move it. So finally, folks, we have reached the Coupe de Gracie. This is what I came here for. This is why I got this one. If, the, if all the little clips I been showing from that one episode of Transformers haven't been a clue this is why I got it this is my alligator con this is what I got this particular uh, Optimus Prime figure for although I will probably have to do a little bit of touch-up paint to make it match the uh, one from the cartoon but still I have no complaints this is a very nice looking little alligator mode and a fairly simplistic transformation I'll give him that I mean, he's probably going to lose points here and there for minor stuff like posability and whatnot, but otherwise, this is definitely a nice little bot to have. So folks, that is it. That is the Vecma VS-05B Commander. Folks, that is it for the Vecma VS-05B Cool One. Folks, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out all this cool stuff down in the description. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Thank you to everybody who uh, added artwork and helped, make, helped me make this video what it is. And folks, I will see you next time. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? I have. Buy this figure and more at Showsy Store. Links in the description.